I decided I'm just gonna wear my beanie. <laughs> okay. It's currently one in the morning. I'm wearing my beanie. My hair is looking extra thin. Um, yeah, it's it's getting worse. My medication is like kicking my ass right now. Um, going through a lot. Uh, going through a lot with family. Going a lot with my health. Um, going a lot. Going through a lot with friends. But yeah, we're just gonna talk. Hello, pets. Okay, so today's video is going to be part two of the vlog. Vlog. It's basically just to sit down and talk to you, talking to you guys about my experience of proposing to Tom Holland. Yes, yes, I said it. I, Michaela, proposed to Tom Holland. I proposed to him on May 26th, going on to the end of my vlog for part one. So, um, I did not film because I got asked to put my camera away. Because I tried filming, like, oh, I'm, like, about to go in, I'm about to, like, propose to him, like, all this stuff. Like, I was going to talk to the camera, but this guy, like, big buff guy, and, like, people that are taller than me, one, and that have any more muscle definition than I do, intimidate me. So, here's this buff dude coming over, like, you need to put your camera away. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you got it, dude. Like, I, I, I don't want to fuck with you, alright? So, <laughs> um, I put my camera away. And I didn't want to risk it, like, taking it out to be like, hey, I'm going to get my autograph because I didn't want my camera to get taken away. And that, that was, like, my whole thing is, like, I just didn't want that to happen. So there's a big reason why I didn't film for that whole portion of about to and then getting out because there were, like, his area, let's just explain this, is very well guarded. And I don't blame them because he is a big celebrity. But he was really well guarded. And I just didn't want them to be like, give me your, your camera. Like, I didn't want that to happen. So I'm sorry that I didn't record. But at the same time, there's like, there's a reason, like a big reason why. Oh my god, sorry. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Mm. This is gonna be a long video. I'm already on here for almost seven minutes and I haven't even fully started. Wow. Like I was literally shaking like my legs were like da -da 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 -da. for one, I never posted about my photo op idea and let me go get my picture because I just need to show it, you know. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to of course took this photo. I had this in my mind. I knew what I was gonna say. I knew everything, like, had everything to a T. I was so nervous, and I really felt, like, I really felt like a man about to propose to his girlfriend of, like, five, eight years, you know, like, so, like something like, I'm ready to get married to you. I don't want to come here. Oh my god, this video is going to be me getting after Harley, my tension breaking, like, it's going to be a long video, and I hope you have enough mental energy, because I don't. I, I kind of do because I took like a two hour nap because I fell asleep waiting for my battery to charge. So I have some energy. And my legs were shaking and I was messaging all my friends like, holy fuck, like this is going to happen. Because I never, 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 except for about five people, I think, in my real life that I knew, I only told five people. Like, I did not want anybody to know about this because, for one, I wanted to be the only one that proposed to him. The only one. So I didn't say jack shit to anybody. When people were asking me, like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I don't know yet. Or I have something in mind, but I'm not going to tell anybody. So, like, I literally <laughs> kept it off the internet. I wanted it to be unique because my last photo op with him, aka that one, I was super unique. It was one of a kind. So... Oof, oof, you're getting annoying, dude. I'm about to throw you outside. Like, throw you out to the wolves. Just kidding. I wanted to be like, hey, Tom. And he'd be like, yes. I don't know. Like, I, I was just, this is before everything. This is before I knew what he was going to, like, say. So he, he'd be like, yeah, what's up? Or whatever. I, I don't know how British lads talk, you know? I'd be like, get down on my knee and be like, will you be my Spider-Man forever? Because I want to be the first girl and the only girl to propose to him as not only girl but I wanted to be the first let's just say that I wanted to be the first girl that had proposed to him that was that was my end game so <laughs> I'm waiting in line it's getting closer and closer like I was the last person in my line too like the last person in my line which kind of was like stressful for me I'm like oh god I'm like the last one in my group 
that's going to be going. <laughs> like, yay! So, by the time it comes to the the photo op um, room, <laughs> I'm about to enter the photo op room and there's a girl in front of me. Poor thing, shaking like a chihuahua. Like, a chihuahua. It was the cutest thing and it was kind of funny, more than cute, I think. <laughs> but the guy who was scanning the things, he was like, um, oh, don't worry about it. He's super chill. Like, don't freak out because it's going to show in your picture that you're freaking out. And she's like, oh, okay. Like, and she's like still shaking. She's just like, um, so, uh, and then he, and he's like, don't cry because you don't want to look ugly in your picture. He's like, there was a girl that was crying and she looked so bad in her picture. He's like, don't be that girl. And I was like, dude, you don't even got to worry. My legs were just shaking. It's like, dude, you don't even know. I'm about to propose to the love of my life that doesn't even know I exist. So, uh, you know. I say that that he doesn't know I exist because um, the first photo op that I took with him, like the most popular one, was of him holding my hands and looking in my eyes and I'm dressed in my silk cosplay. Like, I was hoping that maybe that would stick in his mind because... I didn't see any other silks take a picture with him that day and then there was only spider gwens and spider mans taking pictures with him so I was sticking out like a very bright why did I say that word bright red signal like I'm different because my spider costume was a lot different than everybody else's so I stuck out and I was hoping that I stuck out in a good way that he would remember me. That's why um, I say <laughs> that he'll never know I exist because I didn't think that he would remember me because he meets so many people and I'm like oh that one photo that was iconic I didn't think that he would remember me but we'll get more into that later. So <laughs> we're about to like turn the corner they're like oh we got a mirror in there like you can check your hair or whatever before you take the picture. I'm like this is a great okay so for Ace Comic Con they were just like stand click you go like go 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 very stressful <laughs> I did not like it so um I was like I pray that this photo op experience is better than Ace Comic Con because Ace Comic Con was shite um I'm going to do a Comic Palooza Con review and I'll do that probably in a couple days because I wanted to give them like I only went one day but like for me to only go one day and I have a really fucking awesome review you know that's the one thing that like really shows that if you just go one day and you have a bomb as fuck experience versus you go three days and you have a shit one, it kind of it shows. <laughs> now we're getting closer. The girl is about to go and take her picture. Um, but she's like, oh my god, my things on my, on my piece of paper, I want to, um, I want to do it for the photo op and I was like oh ask them if you can go and grab it real quick so she asked the security guard and they're like oh yeah you can grab it real quick and they're like oh you just come in front of her and I was like oh shit like uh I'm not I wasn't no okay, okay. I felt like that 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 meme the not meme but that vine of the guy who's like okay like <laughs> I literally felt like that in that exact moment I was like okay <laughs> I looked at myself in the little tiny mirror it was like this size hanging on the wall like okay like my hair looks okay like because I was really insecure with my my hairline because of my medication making my hair so thin and I just wore my extensions that day I'm like I pray I look fucking decent because for one holy fuck Houston is humid as hell like I thought San Antonio was bad but holy shit like Houston did me dirty with their stupid humidity <laughs> this group of people in front of me that went they finally take their picture and they're starting to walk and I'm like I'm holding my little spider-man figurine yes I have a video I'll place it right here so I basically um, had a doll from the dollar store I wanted a tiny I was trying to find a tiny spider-man figurine that I had in my collection and I knew I had it and I finally found it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna give this to him and I can always get another one because it's from the dollar store but I was like something that's not expensive I can just give to him and I was holding that in my hand. Oh my god. This is like so intense for me. There he is, and he looks good as ever because he's wearing a black shirt. And I'm like, damn, like, boy, just give me a break. Come on. Okay, so, uh, he looked really good. Let's just say the end story. I was wearing my jersey that I got, my Spider Man jersey that everybody asks about. I got that jersey uh, back at. Ace Comic Con from a vendor and so I don't know if you can even buy it so 
I'm just letting you guys know that's where I bought it. So, please stop asking. I got it at Ace Comic Con from a vendor. I had the little Spider-Man figurine in my hand, and I was like, hi, Tom. And he's like, hey, love. And I was like, will you be my Spider-Man forever? Because I was like really close to him. I was like, will you be my Spider-Man forever? And I just got down on my knee and was like this looking up at him. And you see his reaction, like this was the perfect moment and I got what I wanted. Oh my god, that's amazing. And I just like crossed his hands over his chest and then he's like, wait, you gotta move over a little bit so then you can be like in the, the range. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just literally stepped my foot, slid over a bit and then I just fixed myself. <laughs> and then he did the, oh my god. I proposed to Tom Holland and I shocked the fuck out of him. <laughs> oh, I did not think he was expecting that at all. I don't think you re really expected it that day. Now I want to take the next few moments to talk about what happened after my photo. So I got up and I asked him, can I have a hug? And he responds with, of course love, come here. And I go in for the hug, like ugh, and my head is on his chest. Like that's the embrace that I got was like that moment. Like, I'm short enough, he's short enough, like, but it's not, like, an awful, like, difference. But I was able to rest my head against his chest, and he had his arms wrapped around me. And I think I exploded in excitement from, like, just a hug. Like, he gives damn good hugs. I, I think I've accomplished that in life, is that I got hugged by Tom Holland, because that hug was majestic as hell. Like, people are really, really a fucking hug. Yes. <laughs> yes. He gives good hugs. I got a good experience. Like, this was a better experience. It wasn't rushed. I think mainly because my photo op was towards the evening. Um, But it wasn't as rushed as Ace Comic Con. Like, it wasn't just like, click, go. It was just like, took your time, get ready, you take your photo. But I think it really had to do with me being towards the end of the group and it was in the evening so it wasn't like in the morning when they're trying to just get the fuck everybody through now we're gonna get to the autograph part so i'm gonna insert a picture of my last photo op of him holding my hands and basically um i had him sign that one because i wanted to get the reaction of oh this is you i wanted some type of reaction that he remembered me i wanted to see if he would remember me from the first cons and that was back about I think it was a four month time span of difference please lay down for the love of god Harley I just wanted to see if he would remember me flat as day that's all I wanted just for him to see my photo okay but I mean you know he's Tom Holland he's seen a bunch of faces he's not gonna remember me it's kind of just how I think of it like he doesn't really remember people I don't know I I just had that negative energy to where I'm like he's not gonna remember me even though it was like a really iconic photo, I don't think he's going to like, fuck man. I was just like, after like a high of being like, I just proposed to Tom Holland. I was the first girl. Like, holy shit. And then I'm like, back to the ground. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I don't think this is going to happen how I want it. Because I didn't bring anything else for him to sign besides like something else. But I didn't want it signed after a while thinking. I'm like, oh, I don't really want it signed. So, um... You know, I was just like, fuck, like, this is the only thing I brought, and I didn't want to have, like, the basic-ass photo that they gave you. Like, I didn't want that. So, um, now here's the tea. Tea, fucking hell. I need my water. Okay. Now it's time for the autograph. So, uh, right after, I'm, like, shaking, I'm like, holy fuck, I tried recording, and I thought I saved it I didn't but it was just me shaking the picture like oh my god and I put it on my snapchat I didn't save it I'm a dumbass <laughs> I know so um basically you get the gist I got my photo started walking towards the autograph area because it was like right at six and I think it was already like six o'clock and he was still doing photos so um I was like okay I just need to get my shit done I could get my photo get my autograph done go home that was the plan because my friend Jessica was waiting she is a gem. I love you, Jessica. If you're watching this, thank you so much for this experience. You drove, you found a bomb ass hotel, like you just did so much for this experience and you got to experience Comic Con for the first time. I'm so glad I was able to be there uh, with you as a friend to take you, like, and like, not like take you because he took me, but like to take you through everything and just like 
you get that good experience. Like, I just wanted that to happen. Then we're going to go to Alma City Comic Con. So if you're going this year in October, San Antonio, Texas, come say hi to me. I'm going to be cosplaying. So is Jess. But thank you so much, Jessica. I can never thank you enough. <laughs> like I said, Jessica was waiting for me. She was just chilling like a villain. Apparently she was chit-chatting with some people. Um, but I went straight to the autograph area and I was waiting in line and then I met this girl named Angel. Holy hell, she's so pretty, okay? I just I loved her for that small span of getting to know her in the line, which is awesome. And I made a new friend. I made a new inner friend. It was great. Did I mention she's pretty? Like, she's gorgeous, stunning, all the above. Like, wow. I was just chatting with her, talking about my previous photo op with him, like, hoping that he would remember me. And then we started getting um, separated in lines. Well, the guy sends me to the wrong line. Apparently, he sent me to the fast pass area because he's like, he pointed there. And I was like, okay. So I start walking. And then the guy's like, oh, so you had the fast pass? I was like, no. And he's like, he's like, I'm too tired to care. Just stay in here. What? Like, what? Like, the volunteer guy was like, I'm too tired to care. Like, just stay in here because there's other people, like, lining up and everything. He's like, I don't want to have to, you to, like, get in the back when you, like, first got here. So he was, like, really considerate, but I felt, like, really bad because I didn't have the pass. I just had your standard general admission pass. So, yeah, because he looked at my tag and he, I guess he thought it was for that but it's not but um so yeah I got to go in front of some other people and I'm like oh god <laughs> talking to a bunch of people we were talking about the Venom movie like we we're just being total nerds like total nerds we we're just talking about a bunch of stuff <laughs> excuse me but yeah um we were talking about a bunch of stuff uh random things and then it comes a time for my line to go I think there was about maybe five people I think it was this fourth or fifth one no, because there's a lady behind me. So I think it was probably the fourth one. And so um, we go over. I'm holding my bag of things. And so the contents of my bag, if you didn't see my vlog, I will link the vlog in the description because you definitely should watch that so you understand everything that's kind of going to unfold here. Um, so I had my um, a picture I was holding in there because I didn't want to carry it around or bend it. I, ha <laughs> I had a picture frame of the last picture that we took together in there. I had a letter from a BSL organization. It helps with dogs that are like Tessa. And I had a card, a birthday card for me, a notebook full of things that I wrote in there. I had um, a matching ACDC shirt. If you know me, you've seen on my channel, I have a ACDC shirt. It's really fucking cool. I wanted to get a matching one for him so we can have the same shirt. I got him a deck of playing cards, Spider-Man playing cards. They're really cool. Um, I got him birthday candles, Spider-Man birthday candles, Spider-Man banner that says happy birthday. Um, I got him Spider-Man napkins because his birthday was coming up like <laughs> not even like a few days later so um, I wanted to give him something for his birthday. Um, and then I gave him, yes, okay, that's what I'm forgetting. Okay, I had to look on my Twitter because I'll talk about my Twitter in just a little bit. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, hell no. You're barking at nothing. No. No. That means there's something in my room. I took a Snapchat the other day and it was a face was like right here next to me. Please stop doing that. Stop it. Uh. I gave him a Spider-Man puzzle. So, you know, in Spider-Man Homecoming, there is the vulture. So, it's like a long puzzle. And it was like the vulture. No, it was Miles Morales the vulture and spider-man so i thought it was cool I wanted the vulture on there because with the previous movie spider-man homecoming homecoming uh, my friend kyla i gave her a letter that she wrote for tom that had like a matching bracelet in there um i put that inside my bag so he could have it because she didn't have an autograph so i was like hey i have one i'll give it to him just put it in the bag and da -da, yep and i said everything else okay so um yeah, if you ever see Tom wearing an ACDC shirt, like a blue tie-dye looking shirt, that's from me. That's from your girl because I, I love ACDC, obviously. And the reason why I gave him that shirt, I wanted to go into depth about this because I didn't want to talk about it on his birthday video that I made recently. I wanted to go more in depth about it because I love ACDC so much. And the reason why it sparked me to get him this shirt was because I know that I'll never have the chance again possibly to meet him because he's going to be so busy with all the future movies that he's going to be in. But um, I, I've always wanted to ask him what his favorite ACDC song was and it just didn't occur to me to ask him during the autograph because I, I just didn't think about it but like I've always wanted to know and I hope that one day I'll get that 
get the chance to ask him because I love ACDC and he wears this one shirt. So he's posted pictures like in this one ACDC shirt and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I want to know because like, you know, there's people that just wear the band shirt to look cool and everything and that when you ask them what their favorite song is, they never really respond. They're like, what? You see a girl in public and they're wearing like a Guns N' Roses shirt or like a Metallica shirt, you know, and you ask them like what their favorite song is like from this one album and they're like, who? And I'm like, your shirt. I, I've asked like a girl at a, a clothing store and she's like, oh, I'm just wearing this because it looks cool. Yeah, she, but you fucking are. <laughs> I just want to know what his favorite ACDC song is and maybe when I die, God will tell me like, oh, it was this song, Michaela. You waited 84 years, but this is, this is, this is the song, Michaela. The way that they had this was like multiple people, <laughs> like about four to five people can go at the same time and like just wait in line and go all together because they had like a long table set up and you would just walk down, take your ticket, then the person would take your sticky note, you make your way to Tom. He was at the very fucking end. The poor thing, he looks so tired because um, the person that first got their autograph, he like walked out and he was like, guys, he's really tired. And I'm like, damn, like, baby's tired. Cause it was a long day for him, like a long day. And I wasn't surprised. So I felt like once he said that, like before I even walked in, like he said that, um, cause I was still waiting to go through everything. And that's when he said that, and I'm like, shit, like, he's not gonna be, like, talking, he's just gonna be very, like, sign photo, and you're done, like, you're just walking, because that's how some celebrities are, and they have every right to be like that, but some celebrities, just in general, like, even if they're tired or not at the beginning of the day, they'll just sign the photo and won't say anything to the, the fan. Like, there's some people like that, and I, I know Tom's not like that, so I know that he would talk, like, even though he was tired, but I felt, like, bad, I was like, shoot, like, I don't want to force him to talk if he's tired. But, um, I was just happy to see that he was talking to people once I started going in. I was like, okay, like, he was talking, thank God. And I was upset. My goal, I had the Spider-Man figure in my hand. That's what I forgot to mention. I had it in my hand because I forgot to give it to him during the photo op. I was so mad. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, I forgot. Like, that was that pissed me off so much. I was so upset with myself. So I'm like, okay. I get to redeem myself and I get to give it to him during the autograph so um I walk up and the lady's like um all right uh she takes my ticket blah 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 then um she god can I talk I'm trying to like I'm so excited talking about this that like everything's like a blur I remember this lady she was blonde and she was holding my photo about to give it to Tom and so the guy that he signed the picture leaves with this photo and um Tom's like hi and I was just like oh my god he has some energy how oh, how I lift the bag up because it's quite heavy and <laughs> it felt very heavy after the long day of holding it and I was like happy birthday Tom um I lifted the bag up I placed it on the table I was like there's gifts in there for you for your birthday and there's a letter in there for with an organization that helps dogs like Tessa to keep and so um <laughs> The volunteer was like, oh, does Tessa need organizing? And I was like, what? <laughs> Threw me off. And so, because I was going to try and ask him what his favorite ACDC song. But, like, by the time that, um, because he, like, looks over at her. And then he has the photo. And, like, he thanked me for the gift. And, like, um, he looks down. He takes the tag off. He's like, hi, Michaela. He takes the, the sticky note off because the sticky note was covering my face. You just see the outline of him and then you just see my body and these the hands of him holding you know and so he takes it off and he looks down at the photo and he looks back at me looks back down at the photo then back up at me and I was like kind of like what is going on like is what's wrong with the photo like is there a problem like I didn't know what was going on <laughs> he's like looking at me like pausing looking at my face and he's like this is from our first con he's like this is our photo and he's like I remember you it's lovely to see you again 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 <laughs> what he's like this is our photo like 
I remember you. Like, what? Tom Holland remembers me. I want to thank the world for being a great dog mom. And I want to thank the world for being a great Spider-Man enthusiast for this moment in my life to happen. Tom Holland remembered me. I think that'll be an ideal moment in my life that I'll never forget. I will cherish that moment forever until I die. Um, because a man that I respect so much and admire so much for his work ethic and just his pure talent. The fact that somebody like my own age that's so talented out of all the people that he knows in his life, out of the millions and fucking millions of people that he knows, that he remembered me from one photo. One photo he remembered me. And people were giving me shit in the comments and stuff saying like, oh, he just remembered you because he looked at the photo. He doesn't remember you. Like, don't think you're special. And they were just being super negative about it. I mean, you know, I, I get your point. I can see that. But at the same time, like, he genuinely looked at the photo, looked back at me, looked at the photo, then looked back at me, still looking at me for a couple seconds. Like, that's when you're trying to register something. Like, that's not just like, oh, yeah, I remember you, you know? Like, it was a genuine, like, it wasn't fake. It wasn't like, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, hi. No, it was like a genuine, like, I remember you. Like, it was genuine. I mean, if he was acting, then he's fucking good. <laughs> like, shit. But it's just like, it was pure, genuine, just pure genuinity. That's a word. I don't know. But it was just so pure. Like, the greatest thing. And... That's what just sucks about, like, people that are being, like, super negative about it. And, like, you know, if you were there, you wouldn't be saying that. Like, you're just mad because you're not, you didn't get to meet him. So I think that's why I didn't let it bother me too much. But it was kind of, like, annoying that I got all that stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, let me enjoy my moment. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's, like, why it meant so much to me that he, like, remembered me. Like, I, I look up to him. Like, even though we're six months apart, like, I looked up, I look up to him. Like, I really do. Like, I admire everything. Like, I really, truly do. So, your girl's stupid. I forgot to give him the Spider-Man figurine. I'm so mad. Like, I'm standing there with it in my hand, and I literally go like, fuck. <laughs> I literally get out of the autograph room, and I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, I did it again. I'm walking. I'm fucking pissed. I'm frustrated. I'm happy at the same time because he remembered me. I'm like, okay, like... He remembered me, but I fucking forgot to give him the Spider-Man thing. I was like, God damn it. So I'm walking towards Jessica. Je Jessica, what the fuck, Michaela? Can you talk? No. I'm walking towards Jessica, and she's like, oh my god, are you happy? Like, is it everything you thought of? And I was like, yes, I just forgot to give him the Spider-Man thing. And I was like, I'm so sad. Like, I wanted to give it to him. I forgot to give it to him in the photo op. I was just, like, rambling. I was like, I just forgot to give this to him. And then a voice chimes in, did you need to give something to Tom? And I turn, and there's a volunteer standing right there. And I'm like, what? And she's like, do you need to give something to Tom? And I was like, yeah. So I was like, I forgot to give this to him. And she's like, I can give it to him. And I literally, just like my whole world was like, oh, this is an angel. And I was like, oh my god, please, can you do that? Please, please, please. Um, I say please, please, please. But like, that was how my mind, like, I was just like, oh my god, this lady's like, really gonna give this to him because there's certain volunteers that work with certain celebrities and so she's like oh what's your name and I, I tell her my uh, my name and then she starts typing it in like she's she has me spell it and then um she takes my picture I was like oh I'm the girl that um proposed to him I took I raised my autograph picture and like I held up the Spider-Man figure and she takes a picture of me a picture of me I'm like oh shit is she gonna show that to him I look like trash but you know what at least she's giving him the thing I was like I don't fucking care I can look like a trash bin if he can love that then that's okay that's fine with me but um she has her hand out and I put it there and I was like thank you so much and then so she walks off towards the his autograph area and Jessica was like oh my god that's so fucking cool that she's gonna give it to him and I'm like I know <laughs> like it was just like my lucky stars and everything was like, just lining up perfectly holy heck because on my first time meeting him I met him on January 13th okay you guys know if you're real OG Michaela fans Michaela fans but if you're real OG webheads you know that 13 is my lucky number 13 okay 
not everybody's lucky number. It's pretty much an unlucky number to a lot of people, but it's mine. I have it tattooed on my wrist. I have this tattooed on my wrist. Um, it's my lucky number, and I will forever love it. So many good things happen on the 13th, even if it's the 13th of the month. Good things happen that day, 100% all the time. So I was like, awesome, awesome possum, because January 13th, and I met him again on May 26. 13 plus 13 is 26. Okay? So that day is practically 13. So I'm like, this day is fucking awesome. 13 is in the universe. And my lucky, lucky number was there. Like, it was in the cosmos. It was meant to be. I was thanking my lucky moon and stars that she was able to give my figuring tip. So we're leaving. I call my friend Kyla, freaking out. I'm like, holy shit, he fucking remembered me. Like, oh my god, I'm like freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. And I posted about it, and people were like, holy shit, he remembered you. Like, holy fuck, like, what the, oh my god. And then people were like, oh, he probably just remembered you because he just, just shot in the picture. Anyways, okay, so um, we're in the car, and I decide to post my stuff on Twitter because I'm like, you know, why not? I post about um my experience. And I was, I quoted him, like, saying, hey, love. And then I said, I have to ask you something important. Will you be my Spider-Man forever? And then everyone around us was like, aww. Because everybody was like, this shit's cute, you know? Because, <laughs> I guess, you know, like, they didn't expect that. And I'm like, I don't think he was expecting it either. So, um, I posted it. And this shit blew up. I normally only get, like, one like every one blue moon, you know? Like, I barely get any activity on my Twitter my shit blew up. <laughs> I normally, I'm like, oh my god, like, I've never had this many Twitter notifications, like, it was insane, okay? Um, so a big account retweeted my thing and was like, oh, from At The Little Dog Mom, so then everybody went on my page and was, like, quoting it and, like, retweeting it. In the first hour, I had 500 retweets, okay? And, like, my likes were just, like, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. It was insane. I was overwhelmed. And so looking at it now, it's ended with 937 retweets, 1,536 likes. Like that is the most I've ever had ever in my existence on my Twitter. Okay. Like I felt like the people that's like, Twitter, do your thing. Like that's the moment I felt like, I was like, this is what people are like when they get their shit blown up. <laughs> I forgot that you can make threads. I'm a fucking div. I get it, but um, I made a thread and I was explaining about like after my autograph situation happened, like that she was gonna give him my ring um, to him, which is my Spider Man thing. And then I put um, what was in his birthday bag, and then on top of that, I put um, the matching shirt. So this is the shirt that I got. It's a that blue shirt, ACDC. Um, I posted that. I was like, if you see him wearing it, you know it's from me because that's what I got him. The next day happens, Sunday of comic-con i'm home and i'm about to go into work in a couple hours i think this man posts on his story all the gifts out on his table which i was kind of upset about because my gifts were all together and now he's not gonna know which ones were from me so um which kind of was like shit I screen recorded the the thing of him talking about the gifts because um, it moved so fast that I just couldn't see anything because I wanted to see if my gifts were there. And like I slowed it down and I saw about three of my gifts. I saw my ACDC shirt. Like I saw it like, ah, will there be a day that I see him in that shirt? Like will there be a day? Will there be a day? Will there be a day? Um, because I paid like $30 for that shirt. I took a screenshot of it and I was like, oh my god, my ACDC shirt. I, I put a separate picture and I cropped it so then you can see that there was the Spider-Man figure that I um, was holding. If that ain't the cutest shit you've ever seen, then I don't know what is because I was, instead of having a ring, I had a Spider-Man figure. Overall, my experience was holy heck, 10 out of 10. Would always recommend getting the chance to meet your idols if you can because I got to meet somebody that I really admire through so many reasons, like not through, but for so many reasons I admire him. And I just was really blessed to have this opportunity to meet him because nobody ever fucking comes to Texas and Tom Holland came to Texas. Like, what? Nobody ever comes to San Antonio, first of all. So Tom, if you want to come to San Antonio, which has better attractions than Houston, you can come to San Antonio, you know, because why not? Uh, but yeah, nobody ever comes to San Antonio, so I had to travel to go to Houston. But yeah, this was just like a sit down and like talk 
about like my experience and everything. Um, realized I hit my tripod and my camera moved, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> um, but I just want you guys to know that I had a good experience. I loved every second of it. I'm so thankful for the lady that gave my ring to Tom. I'm praying that he took everything because I don't know how celebrities handle with all the stuff that they're given. So I'm praying that he still has everything. I'm hoping that he'll wear my shirt. Um, still in shock. <laughs> yes, I know. You're like, what? Still? I'm like, yes, I'm still in shock that he remembered me because he just means so much to me. And to be able to recognize someone from a photo that was pretty, like, out there, you know, like, not normal stand and smile picture, just for him to recognize me made my life, like, oh my god, like, this is worth living if somebody so crazy, busy like him can remember you, like, you know, and just made me feel a lot better. Okay, webheads, if you liked today's video, give it a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. It's probably balls hot in here. I'm gonna die. You guys will be seeing this beanie a lot because, um, like I said earlier, my medication is making my hair really thin, so I'm, like, super insecure about the top of my head. So I've been really loving wearing hats, like, baseball hats. Like, I've gotten hats like this from, um, Walmart for, like, three to five bucks. I got so many of these hats. I don't have a black or a white one yet, which I need to get, but... I've just been wearing baseball hats, I've been wearing beanies, like, you name it, it's on my head. It's just something that's helping me not feel, like, as insecure on camera, and I just want to talk to you guys about that. I feel like I can be very open with you guys. Um, my channel's pretty much a safe place. I want it to be comfortable for myself and for you guys. Um, not feel afraid that you're, you can't relate to me or anything, like... I'm a person, we all have insecurities, and my medication making my hair thin is one of them. Just a lot's going on, I don't really want to discuss it right now. A lot of stuff going on with my family. A lot of stuff going on with this one over here. The other night, he was struggling to breathe, so I'm just going through a lot right now, and I'm really sorry that I didn't post the other part on time. Honey, please stay up here. Stay tuned. I really hope you guys like this setup that I have over here. Like, I really enjoy, um what I have going on with my Spider-Man wall. It's something that I take a lot of pride in, like a lot of pride in because I've spent a lot of time making it the way it is. I need to change my calendar. It's on May right now. It should be on June. That's the one thing that's kind of like I'm behind on is my calendar. I love you guys. <laughs>